Welcome to the Crazy Hat Chemist. So here we go. Um, scientific measurements. This is the first video in a series of 21 on scientific measurements. So scientific measurements intro. Here we go. Bam! Scientific measurements intro. So this course here is designed around an honors chemistry course. I have designed this course around the College Board's SAT subject test in chemistry with regards to its depth, detail, and content. So keep that in mind as you're following along with all my lectures here in this series. Okay, my recommendation for you is that you purchase a review book. There are multiple different review books available for you from a variety of different publishers. So pick one that you find most interesting. Okay, here's an old chemistry lab right here. Okay, this is a little bit more modern one here. And then this is a nice, beautiful college level chemistry course with that bank of fume hoods right in the background right there. So I'm hoping that you all eventually get to a college level chemistry course and you can apply what you've learned in my course so that you have a strong foundation in chemistry to be a, a great chemist in college and beyond. Here's what a real lab looks like as far as a chemistry lab or a biochemistry lab. Another chemistry lab. Another chemistry lab. So I want you to all think about that. This is a very modern chemistry lab. Fabulous. Okay? Now, what I want you to do is I want you to become a chef of chemistry. And I am the crazy hat chemist. That's why I am wearing a chef's hat. Okay, and I want you to become a chef of chemistry. Have you ever prepared food in the kitchen before at your house or apartment or wherever you live? I hope you have. Okay, if so, I'm hoping that you can follow a recipe. Now, following a recipe here in this class is like following my problems step by step. And this is a very good start to your learning in chemistry and how to perform the chemistry calculations and apply those concepts. However, I want you to be a chef of chemistry. So chefs apply what they have learned from their master chefs, that is, i.e. their teachers or their professors, to new novel situations and design and develop new menu items and recipes. That's a chef. So that is, what I want you to do is I want you to become a chef of chemistry, where you apply what you have learned from me to novel chemistry problems of which you have not been exposed to and solve those problems from the foundational knowledge of which you will gain throughout this chemistry course. That is my goal here. So, that is the first video in a series of 21 on scientific measurements. Can't wait for the next one. I got this really cool mug from uh, one of my TAs this last year. It's fantastic. It says, never mess with a chemist because I know a solution for your disappearance. So cool. I hope you have a great day. Okay, if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. See you then.